Body will shrink back in the house. You know, I took a little reprieve. Listen to some of the comments, because it's true, it, it's consuming, right? So even a day away from it, I feel refreshed, rested. Um, the last two videos did good. What's sad is that, you know, any honest or nice header other than a clickbait, so those were obviously clickbait that those, you know, people think it's going to be something negative or I'm going to bash on something, right? That's sad that those are the ones that bring all the eyes. So I'm just going to keep doing it. No, I'm just kidding. But isn't that weird how society is, guys? We've got to admit, you know, <laughs> like, for instance, that shark attack that happened in Egypt. There's a guy that's, anal like, this is one of the most horrific things. Like, I don't suggest anyone watches that. Because everyone that's asked me to send it to them, they're still fucked up after watching that. It does something to your soul. And that thing's had over, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of, of views, right? So it's very strange how the world works. So I'm just going to do the best I can here. Just talk about different amplifiers that I've had on the journey. I mean, all sorts of classes from frickin' gain cologne to class A, class AB, class G, class D, um, you know, 300B tube amps, uh, KT88, KT120, uh, EL34, EL84, uh, 845, 211. So they come in all shapes and sizes, right? So any well-built tube amplifier, especially if it's an 845, you're going to be dealing with some heavy-ass transformers. And if they're not, don't buy it. There's something, something wrong there. Because, for instance, this line magnetic, it's not even big. It's only 12 inches deep. It's a very compact, beautiful amplifier. And it's approaching 80 pounds, right? A lot goes into the windings to, to power tubes like that. And 211s are even more. So they're even heavier transformers. So, so this is a lot of bulk. Luckily with the line magnetic, at least it's not a huge, you know, bulky item. But one has to take into account, especially as we're getting a little bit older, not only the topology we want to own, but do we want to have the bulk that actually causes... It, there's labor involved if there's an issue. There's labor, and if you don't trust the tech around your, your area, you got to ship that thing. So the, I've been looking at these kinds of things for so long, like every little area of, of hi-fi as to what I want to own today approaching 55, right? Because I've had the 100-pound amplifiers as well. Like I just sold my favorite amps I've ever, I've ever had. And those were the Yolita Music Envoy 211 monoblocks. They're, I mean, I'll probably do a refresher little video on those. Like, Yolita was a kick-ass company, and these were the best amplifiers they ever made. They were $9,000 US 14 years ago, right? And they were 211. They weren't single-ended trial. They were push-pull, but 200 watts per channel from a tube amp. And these were massive CNC machine chassis, like huge, 18, 18 deep, 11 tall, 11 wide, with all this thick metal, thick CNC machine venting. I'll show you that. But again, guys, I loved them so much, but I just couldn't get out of my mind, okay, what if, what if, do I want to haul these fucking things out of here that go... It's even hard to put it back in these massive fridge boxes. They're, they're like a small fridge, right? They go out and then risk shipping it, pay all that money to ship it, and then trust that technician 100%. Like, this this is all a nightmare to me. That, And this is why I made the drastic change that I made. I, I just got sick of the bulk, and I was thinking of the future for myself, right? Simplifying in all areas, Okay. Now, is the bel canto the answer to that for you all? I don't know, but it is for me. And again, I would have never been able to make that decision unless the dealer sent it to me, right? Which I couldn't believe he did. He just, I said, look at my Canuck Audio Mart profile. Look at, you know, my reputation. I got a bit of a channel here going on. He did it and it changed my life because 
I was able to get rid of so many stuff, so much stuff, sorry. And it was all superb equipment. Like it, it sounded great. It's not why I did it. I wanted to simplify. I wanted to remove the bulk. Like, like I say, man, if you're out there and you got those 700 pound amps, <coughs> I sure hope you're thinking like this. Cause uh, it doesn't matter how much money people have. Stress is stress. Regardless, you buy something you're not happy with, it's stress. If something breaks down and you gotta fucking haul it out with a dolly into the vehicle, into the, see, I'm done with that. Yeah, the, the bel canto is not, not perfect. There can be an issue with it, but it doesn't weigh, it's not that heavy. You just put it in a box and away it goes to them, to them, not a tech. I wouldn't trust the tech with this technology. Just read on it and you'll see why. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I just think everyone, when they've been going down this road for so long and they got so much stuff, it's probably best to just start getting rid of it, right? If you're not even really using it, you know? And there, there is a solution for that, just to clean house and be content with, you know, less is more. And then you don't have to worry about possible those those issues coming up, right? And they can, and it, it's a nightmare. I'm lucky because I've never really held on to much until later in the journey for a long time. It just came and it went right after a while because I was caught up in that. But uh, that's what I have done, and I have a real freedom. I, I just do, man. So when those mono blocks got sold, because like, I, I didn't even put them on Canuck Audio. I put them on a local website man and some guy came and even the wife said he wished she whispered into my ear he's a hoarder and i just went oh fuck that sucks but man i had to get him out of here i just it was playing on me oh man what if even one of the two starts to i just didn't want any of that going on so that was just such an amazing feeling watching like 180 pounds worth of stuff stacked up this high on a dolly getting wheeled right out of my, my space, right? And I didn't regret it at all. But man, are those good amps. You'd never see those on the used market for good reason. Like those are just overbuilt. That's what Yolita offered, right? You can look them up. Yolita Music Envoy 211 Monoblock. But uh, yeah, so those were the most bulky amp I ever owned. And then you got these guys with these I got a big amp, so my it's an ego booster. Look at my 500-pound fucking amplifiers. What, do you live in a hall? Yeah, there's there's just better ways, more, more efficient ways to build systems when it comes to these issues. So this is all just my opinion. It's really worked out well for me. I don't want any bulk in the house, yet I want a reference presentation, and I have that today. I just do. So there you go. Like and subscribe. There's even a little, you know, there's a little heart beside where you type in on your comment. You can throw a buck 99. I'm going to ask for it because it's work. This is work. And I'm giving out a lot of knowledge here, which I don't mind doing, but it's nice to be rewarded. So you guys take care until the next one. Bye-bye.